simple stamping. Desperately needed a wicket. They've got one. Good work behind the stumps. And Sarah Glenn with her first. That's the breakthrough that Trent Rockets needed there. Start putting pressure on the Rockets bowlers. Catch it! Yeah! And just chipped up after the flow of runs came. Sarah Glenn got one that Boucher played across the line and got herself in trouble. Drilled. Well, two balls left here. Down the pitch again. Mid off in play. Run out chance. Oh, brilliant cricket all round. That is exceptional cricket all round. I'm not sure if she's out. But if she is, that is just a brilliant bit of fielding from mid-off and the bowler. Everything had to go right here. She nearly got run out going for a first run. Brilliant from mid-off, brilliant from the bowler. Yeah, brilliant to watch what athleticism. Catch it! Wickets galore, they just keep falling. Bess Heath this time. Enough elevation. Third man is up and it goes quickly to the boundary. They need that and plenty more. Oh. Eve leg side and goes all the way. Now then, just now then. That's what they needed. A couple of boundaries. A four followed by a six. A couple of balls later. 98 runs on the board. John Sam. Taken comfortably, really comfortable catch, reverse cup, Sarah Glenn with the catch, and the end of Tammy Beaumont. Great call again from Nat, that's the wicket I wanted. Yeah! Oh, confusion, confusion. And dots and perishes yeah! in the most haphazard of circumstances. They finally got her out. She could be a very good athlete, but she's definitely caught getting back on this one. Yes! Aerial. And should be out, will yes! be out, comfortably taken in the end. That is too easy. Desperately needed her as yes! well. Win for the big shot. And that's the yes! problem. Good start through the gap, nicely timed for Sarah Glenn, she'll pick up a boundary off her first ball and with 15 remaining, even with the rain that we've had, just get it past that inner circle and it will run away for four. Quick scoring ground. Left arm spin. Nice and full. The place you're going with that is down the ground. Three riders are both deep. Yeah! Straight through. Almost yorked herself there, Katie Mack. And Sarah Glenn strikes. Got them back into this game. Yeah! But you can just see playing across the ball. Some five balls, three runs. Been pretty good so far. And that is a simple catch. Wide ball just hit straight to backward point. Sammy Joe Johnson's the leading wicket taker of the tournament as well. Bit of a loose delivery, slower ball back to the hand on that wide line. Sammy yes! Jones trying to go over extra cover. This is going to tempt you as a batter. Yes! Brilliant bit of work, just the top spin of that time. You saw as it hit the surface, it skipped on, got the edge, good catch from Priest. Sarah Glenn, she's normally known as being a skiddy bowler. Great. Great catch from Rachel Priest there. She's had a good day behind the stump. Stopped one early off Catherine Brunt. Well, that's out of the park. That's more like it. And the England squad just from the crease uses those wrists, flicks through the ball, and it's gone for six by some distance. towards me wicket and dropped oh spilt and it's gone for four no good without the gloves yeah they're never easy running around on the move not able to set yourself 
But a fielder of Mignon de Pries standards would be disappointed to have dropped that. Goes over the top. Can she get it over the top? <laughs> oh! What a grab that is! Sarah Glenn, one-handed, diving away to her right. What a catch that is. And it's Lizelle Lee. Massive moment in this game. Because that is a cracker. She's literally plucked this out of nowhere. The ball was going away from her. She's probably thinking, right, I've got to do something. I'm just going to go for it. And it's just stuck. Starting to narrow the gap a little bit. Gone. Satisfy. Well, it was a nothing sort of shot. She came down the pitch with intent and then lost all intent and missed it. Followed by a wicket with a very first delivery. It's just, it's a nothing shot, isn't it? Perhaps she's done a little bit by Glenn. We saw her coming and dragged it clever. down. You just won again. That's good. The Phoenix are happy with that. Three to the average score here, so. Uses her feet, goes straight down the ground. There is a fielder in place, and Catherine Brunt takes an easy catch in the end. Now, is this a little bit of hope that the Trent Rockets needed? It was a good bit bowling, didn't quite get to the pitch in the end. Alice Gapsy, and in the end, just hope. Boy! Bold, bold. Susie Bates trying to give herself some room and ended up chopping onto the stumps. So two wickets in quick time for the Trent Rockets. Could this be the momentum they needed? I liked at the top of the show the impact of Alana King and Sarah Glenn just trying to play the same shot as a little earlier. Just trying to use the pace and bounce. Excellent from Sarah Glenn. Sets. Oh, this must be out, is out. Full. And it hits Amelia Kerr right in front. Over, no, does not go over. Very comfortable in the end. Sarah Glenn takes the catch. And the end of Danielle Gibson. Ah! She's got a little bit yeah! wide, but Mandana has made a mistake and chipped it straight up to Sarah Glenn. Another wicket and the big wicket of Mandana.